guys welcome back to the channel and a lot of you guys were facing issue with this lab so don't worry i have created a detailed explanation solution for it now open cloud console incognito window now in my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need username and password you can refer to the lab instruction Click on I understand. Now click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now we have to activate the cloud shell because we will be performing all the tasks in the cloud shell. So click on the button to activate the cloud shell. So cloud shell takes time to open. So click on continue. And now in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video so now click on authorize in the description box of this video i've shared the github link do check it out now enter it now we have to export the region so for region click on Control f and find the region we have to find the second region as in my case it's us central one it might be different for you so now enter it now hit enter now wait for this command to execute then we will move forward to the task so basically this lab we have to perform two tasks that is one is clone the repo clone the data flow job and another one is to create a data flow job so in one of these we will face one error so for that wait for it and i will tell you how to, you can debug this error and complete the lab with ease Now let's try to hit check my progress for all the task as you can see we got only for one. So now task 2 needs to be done manually. So now click on this link and now we will have to clone the data flow job as I said in the beginning. So wait for this page to open and see this job is showing failed status. So now we have to clone it. So for that click on this job. First of all let's remove this unwanted icon on this job now close this now here we have to click on clone so wait for it. the job is open now here click on clone do as i am doing in the video so now you can use any name i am using cloud master now do check the regional endpoints that is the region in my case it was same so i did not modify so now click on run job now this will take some time so wait for it and let's try to hit check my progress for the task so whether we get full score or not so it's taking time so wait for it go back to task number six and let's hit check my progress as you can see we got the score after waiting for two minutes now we have to create another job so for that click on create job from template so now for the job name scroll down a bit and from here as you can see task number seven we have to use this name that is basically pops up to google cloud storage so now make sure to check the region as in my case regional endpoint is us central one it might be different for you so from here we have to select the data flow template wait for the fully template load now here we have to select our bucket that is similar to our project id as you can see which we created in previous task just click and select here now for the pub sub so pops up only we have to select the subscription not topic so make sure to take care of this and for output file name just enter the output in the output parameter now here you will face one issue so when we i will click on run job let me show you how you will face error if you don't follow the video so as you can see we are getting one error so what is this error let's debug it together so here we have to remove the values because we don't need these values particularly for this lab. So
so just remove it and then we will click on run job as you have as we have formally removed the data so now run job will work and finally the job is queued so we wait for the job to start so wait for the status to change to running you can click on back and wait as you can see in cloud master it's showing streaming or running it will update accordingly so even if it shows streaming we will get a score so here was the error part and generally a job takes five to seven minutes so wait for it and click on hitting refresh So finally after waiting for 4 to 5 minutes let me refresh the page again So as you can see the status has been updated to running now we will head check my progress and we will get the score so in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video so finally guys we are done with this lab and this was the very descriptive part of this lab thank you guys have a great